portable as laptops are, they're more susceptible to heating problems as there's less space inside them. You'll know when this is happening because the fan will run faster and louder more often. This is irritating whether you're working or playing games, but thankfully it's a simple job to clean up the fan unit inside the notebook. Once you've done this, the fan will be quieter and more efficient. What you'll need to do this is a screwdriver with a small enough head for the screws on the notebook, a can of compressed air, we've got one from Maptins that can be used inverted, but you don't need to worry about that too much with a laptop, and some cotton wool buds. You may also want to use an anti-static wrist strap if you're concerned about static electricity damaging the notebook. This attaches you to something that's earthed, such as a radiator pipe or the actual earthing pin in an electrical socket. Most of the time, just touching something earthed, such as a bit of bare copper piping from your central heating system, is enough to remove all the dangerous static from your body. Now, one word of warning. We are going to open up this notebook in order to get to the fan, and this will invalidate the warranty from all but the most extremely broad-minded of manufacturers. We also have to admit that there's a great variety of laptop designs out there. This one is relatively simple. There's a single large plate to remove on the underside. Fans in some laptops, though, can only be accessed by removing the entire keyboard first. Take a look in the manual if you're not sure for more instructions. Now what we certainly recommend is removing the battery from the notebook first to make sure that it's completely off. On the underside of our laptop is a large plate and it's got some icons on it to show what's underneath and we're looking for the one that says CPU. The plate itself is held in place with eight screws so carefully remove these. Now all the screws on this plate are the same size but you really shouldn't assume that. One very well received piece of wisdom from my father was to arrange the screws on your working surface as they come off the device to make sure you can remember where they came from. Don't assume that all the screws on a single plate will be the same size because sometimes they're not. Once inside the notebook you can see the fan and the outlet for the hot air on the side. Heat is transferred from the CPU and the graphics card using these copper coloured heat pipes to some fins which are near the fan. Now we've seen notebooks with a thick mat of dust on the inside of these fans. So take the can of compressed air and blow into the notebook through the vents. Now I know that sounds like it's in the wrong direction but what we're trying to do here is to get rid of this build up of dust here. The compressed air will force it out through the fins. Once the big amounts of dust have been removed, the next step is to use a cotton wool bud just to remove the dust from the edge of the fan fins, like so. You might also want to check that any dust filters on the vents are clean. You can see here on the access panel there are some fine meshes over the vents. Give them a blast with the compressed air in the reverse of the normal airflow, so in this case in that direction to get rid of any dust. Once everything is cleaned up, replace the cover on the bottom of the notebook and do up all the screws. With any luck, your laptop will now be much quieter and much cooler.